y'all hey it's your girl kiana and i'm back with another video if you're new here welcome to my channel today's video is going to be a reaction video to kevin samuels and this should be a good one this video is titled modern women want to control men so let's go ahead and see what she has to say about this but before I get started, give this video a thumbs up. Throughout this video, if you have any thoughts or opinions about this topic, go ahead and leave it down in the comment area. I want to hear your thoughts. If you're not already following my Instagram, my Instagram is at IAM underscore K-I-I-I K-I. Let's go ahead and just jump right into it. If a man had a choice between five girls and they're all tens. Mm -hmm. And maybe two of them have a great mindset, the rest don't. Yes, they all have vaginas, yes, they all look good, but a high value man would, would prefer the woman with a great mindset, a woman that is smart, maybe gonna uplift him, maybe gonna invest into him in the ways that she can. In any relationship I've been in, I've never just been there to look cute. I help whoever I'm dealing with. So is that a question? Not financially, but is just... That a, is that a question I'm, for I'm me? Ask, yeah, it's a long question, but yes. Would, would a high-value high man... Would a woman would, would, that is internally full of substance, or is he just saying, I want a beautiful trophy wife who nope. is subservient to me? Nope. See, I covered this last night. Mindset. Yeah, what is a mindset? Mindset. When a, a woman in high demand has a mindset that's cooperative, smart, and agreeable. There may be many other things, but those are the baseline things. The baseline things. Um, a woman who's fit internally and externally, meaning she's dedicated, disciplined, and discerning. She's feminine, meaning she's affectionate, accommodating, with subtle sophistication, and she's naturally nurturing. Carefree, loving, easygoing, lightheartedness. This is a women that men of value tend to, have to, they tend to be in demand. Mm -hmm. See, and the problem is you don't tend to, where in, where in all of that was looks? That was the internal, you were speaking about that? No, 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 that's fitness. None of that had to do with looks. Men will go down in looks to go up, to go up in mindset. That's the thing that I've noticed about a lot of pretty women that are looking to date men. So the woman will have a mindset that just because they're beautiful, just because they're pretty, they look good, that the man will only stop at her looks. So the woman assumes that the man only wants to be with her for her looks. And that's not all true. Men want to have someone that has a mindset like them or at least almost on the same level as them uh, they want a submissive woman they want someone that is a woman cooperative uh, attentive nurturing they want a woman that will have the brains behind the beauty and that's the problem with a lot of these pretty girls or these pretty women nowadays these modern women think that okay just because i look good a man is going to want to actually wife me or be in a relationship with me and that's the problem right there you can't assume that a man will want to be in a relationship with you just because you have beauty beauty and pretty looks can only go so far so if you're the type of woman that is so beautiful that you got your hair done, your nails done, your um, your attire looks good all the time. You got that drip, as people call it. You know, if you really just look good, makeup all on your face, that can only go so far up until you need to handle some business. And if you can't handle that business, that man is going to be like, well, what are you here for? You're kind of useless because if you can't help me and doing what I need you to help me with and be my helpmate, then what are you here for? And that's why Kevin Samuels was like, where in that did it say looks? And he had a point. If a man is looking for all of these things, sometimes they will dumb down on their standards of having a woman that looks good if they can get all those other qualities. That's where women have to kind of draw that fine line in between, okay, just because I look good, can I actually be of use to this man in the relationship rather than just being a trophy on his arm, being a woman that looks good on his arm when it's time to go out. You have to have the brains behind that beauty. 
But the thing is, the women you said, if they're all tens and they're this, that's that's perfection. And rarely, and there's a there's a there's a parody talking about the the hotness scale. And they say if you meet a woman that's a ten in mindset and a ten in looks, run because it's a man. So, I was saying I grew up in living in Miami. I know tons of women who are extremely beautiful, attractive, and vacuous. But the the inside, the internal portions of them are what to me differentiate all women from each other. Okay. Um, but when I think of a high value man, um, I don't really. The portion you just mentioned of high value men liking those characteristics, I don't think I've heard that very often in what you've stated in other well, videos. Well, I'll tell you one thing. You live in Miami, which is bizarro land. You can't really judge the world based upon Miami. So this is my reality. This is a reality well, of a lot of people but, in South but, Florida. But, but Hollywood is a reality of a lot of people in LA, but it's not real. You need to get out of Miami and travel around and see that this is not real. That's one of the things about Miami. You just said that you're either rich or you're pretending like you're rich. That's not the reality. But here, it is a alternate reality. So high value, what I just, what, what women and what men determine to be high value is a list of things and money is only one component of them. But where, whatever it is, are high value men more rare than beautiful women. She thinking like, uh, I honestly think that high value men are more rare than beautiful women because you could turn around every corner or every two blocks and you'll find a beautiful woman. On the other hand of that, there is actually 10% of men that are actually high value. So it's not that many high value men compared to pretty women. And shorter Based supply. Your, and shorter I supply. Think so. Right. Based off of your description so of high value. If there are, if a high value man is in shorter supply than beautiful women, then who has the leverage? Then uh, what percentage of the the men the thing that's in shorter supply. That's why diamonds cost more. Because of the supply. That's why platinum is more. Okay. But what percentage of high value men would you say are in the United States? If you could put a number on percentage this 10 percent are in six, ten, six figures or more but what percentage of people like 10 percent of 10 percent of, of men population 10 percent of men earn six feet well no they're in the category of the earning but um as far as the other components don't know no i'm just i'm just i don't to... I, I don't i don't I, you can only things we can judge in the united states high value is need to earn ten thousand dollars or more we can quantify that. Oh, I we know, can look at, I know you're we can, we can, and after three to five years, we can find that. Mm -hmm. They are recognized as high value men or potential high value men from, from their peers. That means just, you either there or you have it. Can't quantify that. Yeah. Uh, they have a network of high value men and others. Can't quantify that. They are LinkedIn level. You can quantify that because it's visible, a visibility component. They're not in the corner somewhere. And then they're useful to others in a group. You can somewhat quantify that because they're out. They're, it's, it's almost difficult, it's difficult to be high value and homeless or high value and a hermit. You have to be of use. But these men are the men that are the most sought after and desired. And the thing is, men have to make themselves that. And there are fewer of these, of these men than there are women who are just, who are beautiful. Because beauty is cheap. Buy everything now. I get that. So when I say it's not special, um, the reality is, if you want to tell me a woman is special, I happen to see her in her natural condition. Most women aren't even natural today. Most women walk out and you don't even. There was a skit on um, uh, I'm gonna get you sucker, and the woman was talking about my eyes aren't really green. It's hitting my hair and this and that. It's supposed to be a skit, but now today it's like. And I want to go back to the other part. High value men don't cheat. They exercise options. Yes. Right. Let's talk about that. What do you, what do you want to know about it? I'm not going to lie. That, that triggers me very much. Okay. Um, 
in Jamaica, that is a very common way of life. A lot of men that have a lot of finances will exercise their options while their wife or wifey is home and they do their thing on the side. Mm -hmm. So I've heard of that trope growing up and it always infuriated Beta. me. Beta! Sorry. It always infuriated you. Yeah. Why? Um, the idea of being married to a man who is exercising his options. She could have chose somebody else. No, what if he didn't start? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Why does somebody else's choice infuriate you? Right there. Somebody else's choice infuriates her because she's not in that woman's spot to begin with, first off. And that's the question right there. Why are you infuriated by this other woman's choice? If a man is exercising his options and the wife obviously knows about it and has everything she needs and wants and she don't have to worry about anything and she's not mad about him doing what he wants because she's not going to try to jeopardize what she has going for herself. She's not gonna jeopardize the livelihood. If this man is taking care of her, why would she go snooping through this man's stuff? Why would she even go trying to ask him questions about what he's doing that doesn't even concern her? Because if he's not taken away from her and the children and their household, then why does that even concern her? And in all honesty, as long as that man is not bringing back any drama to her or any type of problems back to her, then she shouldn't be worried about it. Especially, I'm sure he's holding it down on the other end too. Obviously, exercising his options, he's messing with other women and those women he haven't checked. So the wife at home, she's cooperative. She's submissive. She's not going to backtalk him and be like, where you been all day and night? Because it's none of her business. He could have been out handling business or he could have been out doing what he wanted to do. But at the end of the day, everybody knows their place and they're not going to jeopardize what they have especially with him exercising his options those other women are not going to ask him what's going on at home or if he's even married maybe they know he's married maybe they don't so as long as everybody's staying in their own lane nobody should be worried about nobody and y'all getting what y'all need over at home is she getting what she need by him providing what he providing because they're only, most of the time in Jamaica at least, because there's not as many options for a woman mm -hmm. to be financially independent. Mm -hmm. um, they stay in that relationship because they don't feel that they have a choice. I, no, no, that's your opinion. No, this, this, this is okay, the truth. Okay, man, okay, I'm being, let's be Versus fair. the U.S. where, you know, that, there's okay, more you, financial you, That's what you believe, that they're staying. Mm -hmm. See, I have brought women on from other countries who openly say, yeah, they, they go into these relationships and they're happy to be in them. Okay, that, okay, that's them. It no, it's not, me. it's, but, but, okay, then don't do it. But see, the thing is, why, if this woman, Melania Trump, you think she's physically, sexually attracted to Donald Trump? Of course not. But she made a decision, which marriage has always been. And the thing is, women, you want, you want, women seem to, you want women to choose how you choose, but then you say you can't speak for all women kind of rich. If that's what that woman chose to do, she said, let's just take your choice. Well, they're not, they're not a lot of choices out here. So I can either live this lifestyle over here and have a husband that exercises his options, or I can go work hard. And, and, and you can choose. And here's the thing, would you rather be a woman who's in the position to have a choice or not? Have a choice? Well then, and they chose. And that's what feminism truly is, choice. Truly is, it's about choice. And that's another thing about modern women who look down on women that stay in a relationship with men that exercise their options. Just because you're on the outside looking in doesn't mean that you should be mad or infuriated by what these women choose to do. If she chooses to have a man take care of her and provide for her and live a lifestyle that you can't, why are you mad? Because you're jealous that she can live this and you are too prideful to put your feelings aside to accept the love from a high value man or even accept a man to provide for you. And that's the thing, it takes a lot of emotional intelligence from a woman, especially to be in a relationship with a man that exercises options.
because she's coming from a side of selflessness. When a woman can actually sit there and be okay with her man exercising his options and not questioning him on what he's doing outside of their relationship, she actually is mature enough to understand that his happiness is above her jealousy, is above her pride, is above her ego. Why be selfish if you know your man has a high sex drive and you're not going to be able to satisfy that or you know that you can't and you know he looks at other women from time to time or he wants to be with other women from time to time. Why is he just supposed to settle down with you just because he married you? But he's not taking away no money from you. He's not taking away the house from you. And a lot of women bash the women that actually stay in the relationship with them. They be the same women that are the other options because they don't want to be in the wife's place, but they rather be on the other side of that fence. So they don't even have to worry about being cheated on. They don't even have to worry about they man exercising the options on them. But see, the thing is when women tend to choose things that line up to more traditional, not as modern, not as liberal, a lot of modern feminists have an issue with that. But let's talk, let's talk about it. Where in history have men who would have been considered in the nobility, earls, dukes, uh, not in a monarchy because you had to be born into that bloodlines, right? The oldest system of government, monarchy, one of the oldest systems. Where would men who were landowners, lords, ever have just been monogamous? I understand okay. monogamy has a lot to do with religion. And but, any, but, any, but any continent in any time frame, men of means had a primary wife. And what did men in Asia? They had concubines. It's just funny that today women want, women want men who are in the top percentile. Then you want them to be Monogamous. alpha male and, and you don't get it. No. It won't happen. Now, I mean, it can. I say the exercise options. Number one, it's not mandatory. But I'm going to tell you, more women who are married to these men look at y'all like the women who have these issues and they're like, they come on my show. I don't know what they're talking about. Sitting there flashing their, their tech for leap watching their house. They're like, that's it, what they value over. But you, but you assume that these women are being. Uh, I know some women will willingly do this. And happy doing yes, it. Yes, they're happy. And I, most, I understand and that's most, them. And so, it infuriates me. In why does opinion, it infuriate why you? Why would you? It's none of your business. I mean, why is it your business? Because women are valuing material possessions okay, so what, what, over a man what about when men, what about, with them solely. Okay, that's, well, what about when like, men? That's, res, that's disrespect okay. over material items. Okay, then I mean, what about, how about this? What about when you went to college? Mm -hmm. And men who went to college would get mad at women like women who look like you who dated drug dealers instead of the college boy. I think a woman staying in a marriage with a high value man that exercises his options infuriates her because she's one of those women that have the mindset that we are in a new day and age. Why don't y'all act like we are in a new day and age? So women have rights to leave a relationship if they want to. Women have the choice to not be in a relationship like that. And we're supposed to be old power in a sisterhood. We're supposed to be a lot stronger than our moms and our grandmothers and our great grandmothers back in the day. We're supposed to be able to be independent so we're uh, to where we don't have to depend on a man and that's what infuriates her because the women that stay in those relationships don't want to be independent they don't want to be so strong and being on their own because nine times out of ten the women that have the independent mindsets i don't need no man they usually end up single and forever be single because they don't know how to cooperate in a relationship. But the women that want to have a high value man, but don't have the characteristics of a real woman in her femininity, they're the ones who actually sit there and be single. They're the ones who may get in a relationship and then continue to have problems, or they may come across high value men 
and sabotage that relationship. Average men don't even want the modern day relationships. Some of them may be on the monogamous side and some men actually may have other women. But that just comes with that territory. So it just depends on that man that you have. And even those high value men that exercise their options, sometimes it's not even forever. Sometimes it's just in the beginning so they can get it all out, even though they, they love you. As their wife, they love you. Their love is not going to change. That's why you're there. Your spot is set. And they mess around whenever they want to because they know what they have at home satisfies them, but they want more. That's like a man that has the 2022 Benz. He drive it for a little bit. He like how it feel. He use it, but then he go and park it and then he want to go buy another car. So he go get a Rolls Royce or he go get a Bentley and he go drive that and he go do that for a little while and then he go park that and then he save it for when he actually want to use it and then he goes buy another car. That's the same thing. They love what they have, but they want to explore. They don't want to just drive the same car every day for the rest of their lives. That's for the men that actually just want to be in a monogamous relationship. And like I said, it may not even be all forever. Some of those men may just exercise their options for a while and then they have their wife who they actually want to die with. They have their wife who they actually want to be by their side when they're in a nursing home. And women who don't understand that will be with the other man who wants monogamy, but then she may go and cheat on him. And then she may be unhappy because she's not living that type of lifestyle that she actually wants. She's not living that lifestyle that she's envying over the other women who has a high value man. And that's why I said those are probably the women that be the other options for that high value man because she couldn't sit in that spot of being the wife and sitting in her place. She don't want to sit in her place. That wasn't me, but I understand. No, 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 where was it? Come on, T. What do you mean? But, me but... Meaning, meaning that, meaning you're saying, you know, it's disrespect. You should get a man who's, a, who's more of a fit, who values you more. You should get a man that's what's supposed to be loyalty. Then if you're supposed to be with somebody, college women, college men, women will openly date thugs in college. And then, Crazy. But, I don't agree with that either. But <laughs> but but, but, there's a, but but when men get infuriated about it, women say that ain't nothing, none of your business. Become a soldier. So that bothers me as well. Well, okay, that. maybe a little. That's never been my type. Doesn't matter. The fact of the matter is, it happens. It and, and 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 in, in the black community, it happens so we would have a, a term called Pookie and Ray Ray versus educated lambs it's a whole thing to where women have I want Tupac in a suit trying to <laughs> rejigger attractiveness to where now you want to do I heard women say I want a man that wears a suit to work and handle his business and come home and have a wife beat on and handle his business and then you get, and then they get mad when these very black men decide to date out because they don't have to be superhero Negro and some trope, they can just be men with other folks. And that's the thing about black women. They want the best of both worlds. They want to have it all. And that's a fairy tale world. You can't have a knight in shining armor and have a prince charming. Where does that work? Because that knight in shining armor, he's going to ride for you, he's going to provide for you, he's going to die for you, right? But then the Prince Charming, he's going to whisper a little sweet nothings in your ear, make you feel good. He's going to do everything that you would want from a man emotionally. You can't have the best of both worlds. Either you get a knight in shining armor without those soft feelings, or you get that Prince Charming with, I don't want you to touch my face type of guy. I don't want to fight because I'm too pretty. You have a soft guy or you have a hard guy, but there's no in between. And I agree about the fact that the women who are dating the thug and the educated guy is saying, well, why would you want to date him when you could just date me? And she'll tell him, it's none of your business. So why is it that you're mad 
at this woman that wants to be with a high value man that exercises his options is none of your business. You're not doing it, but that's why you're not doing it because you feel some type of way about it. You're in your feelings. If you think about it logically though, if women really think about it logically and say, okay, I want to have this type of lifestyle and that comes with X, Y, and Z. So that comes with having a high value man who exercises his options and he's working all the time and being out all the time and I'm not able to see him as much. She has to weigh that over here, right? But then she has to weigh over here, okay, if I don't want a high value man, I would have to live a regular lifestyle, an average lifestyle, probably living paycheck to paycheck or can live a comfortable life, but I can't take trips all the time. I have to work myself. And then I'm with a guy that has to work himself. So where in that, that most women would probably choose. But modern women who are selfish, who only care about, well, I'm entitled to my feelings. I don't want no man to be messing with other women. He belongs to me. She wants that power, that control over the relationship. Okay, she's going to choose the latter. But then she's never going to be satisfied because she's going to feel like she's settled. And then she's going to feel like, well, I could have had better. And then she's going to be wishing that she had picked that first one. But now it's too late. But now you can't choose it because it's already a shortage of high value men. So if you pass up on your chance while you have the opportunity, it may be too late. So I'm going to stop that video right there. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll leave the link down below in the description area so you guys can watch the rest of the video. Let me know what you guys think in the comment area. Some may agree, some may disagree, but no matter how you feel about it, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it so you can be notified when I upload new videos and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.